Well, Jeff Patterson joins us live. He has actually moved indoors at his Naples hotel because things have gotten so bad there. Tell us more, Jeff. But we'll get one on tape if you don't mind. Is that yeah, good afternoon. This is actually a first for me in hurricane coverage. We've moved inside purely for safety reasons. Uh, we were driving around a little bit. I can tell you that they have measured one wind gust right now. It's 75 miles an hour uh, at the uh, Naples airport, but they're not expecting peak winds until about two, two and a half hours. The eye wall from Irma is approximately 28 miles from Collier County at this time. But let me just have Bob uh, take a look outside the window. But we've been mon monitoring things here. Uh, the Collier County Emergency Management website as they've been posting information for all of the residents here, uh, advising people, as you've just heard, uh, now is the time to stay inside, now is the time to stay put. We were driving around a little bit. We saw down trees. Um, there is a report of a downed power line from Collier County Emergency Management. We saw virtually no one on the road, as you can understand at this time. Hotel management has even locked the doors uh, to this hotel. They're not letting anyone in or outside because they're worried if they open the doors for the hotel with the winds gusting as strongly as they are that they could have damage that could compromise the interior of the hotel. There are a lot of evacuees who have come to this uh, hotel where we are in Naples uh, to try to get out of the path of the storm because of the expected storm surge. Now, that said, uh, we were at the uh, marina uh, outside uh, in Naples uh, earlier, just a little while ago, and the water from, or, from Naples Bay was actually being pushed out into the Gulf of Mexico. And we were seeing mud on the bottom of Naples Bay, which is just an extraordinary sight to see. Uh, but as the wind shift, as the storm passes, uh, they're expecting the tidal surge to come back in. And so there are mandatory evacuation zones here. Uh, but we were talking to people yesterday who had decided not to evacuate. And in fact, we were talking to some people uh, as we were driving back, and they are deciding to stay put. Um, now, as you can expect, as the wind gusts get above 75 miles an hour, structures are going to be compromised. There's going to be even more problems with power outages in the area. I believe that our hotel right now is just on generator power, as are a number of places. The people that we were speaking to in an apartment complex, their power is completely out right now. So we are just starting to see some impact from Irma. Uh, it has been progressively, progressively getting worse, but in the next two, two and a half hours, we expect the winds to exceed even what they're doing right now outside, you guys. Well, so we're going to be looking at a 100-mile-an-hour gust down there, Jeff. I'm glad that you've moved indoors. That's a scary thing. We will keep checking back with you. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff Patterson live for us in Naples.